Hello, I'm Marima, and welcome back to Reign of Pain. This is a pretty hard game. As you guys have seen, we haven't been doing amazingly well, but we're going to roll another random item at the beginning here and see what we can do. Ooh, plus speed. Very nice. Uh, we'll take the skirt. That gives us some um, some damage and health. And we clear the first floor. Always a good feeling. Freezes closest four cards when hit. Sure. We're going to get a lot of freezes off in the beginning here then. Uh, we'll take the helmet. That'll give us a little bit more defense for the beginning here. Plus three souls on kill is quite good. We actually have to kill them ourselves, though. Something to keep in mind. And I have been informed that uh, poison does not count as a kill. Kill this, for the souls. We kill that for the souls. Wow, we have 44 souls. Very nice. We can take the crossroads. Hope for maybe an ambush. Wishful is something. One, two. We do have three items from Wishful, but I think I'd rather take ambush. It'll give us a higher rarity item. And a bunch of souls. Titanium. It's like plus eight, right? Yeah, plus eight. I like Fury a lot, to be honest. Because it just gives you a lot of power at the beginning and lets you get built up for later. I'm going to do this. Make sure he doesn't get away from me. I have been losing out on those guys way too often recently, and I need to stop doing that. I'll take the chance. Roll the dice. We will take a freeze. The freeze will allow us to kill more things. After spell use, petrify front cards. We want to keep the souls on kill for now. Reroll once. Plus three curse damage on every attack for every soul kin item. Do we have any others? One, two, ooh. So that would be one, two. So that'd be nine curse damage on attack. Yeah, that's quite good, huh? We need to be keeping an eye out for Sulkin at this point, then. That's Sulkin. Right? Yeah. That's an unexpected sudden build on floor three. Minus 12. Jeez, um. Do we still have the gloves? We do. How far is he away from the entrance? Oh, that's right. It'll freeze. Gosh, dang it. Even with all that, I couldn't get to him in time. I don't know how I was going to get to that guy in time, to be honest. Sulkin? Sulkin? No. Sulkin? No. We'll take the 10% crit and the... Oh, that's actually technically... It's one-to-one. -one. Yeah, it's one-to-one. -one. That'd be eight souls. Let's not. We'll save the freeze from whenever we actually are in danger. This is actually not a bad time for And we'll grab some extra. Jeez, so strong. I think we survived this, though. Yes. Before attacks, you freeze. Feel too soon. 
These are both of the Solkin set, but I need more items. Enrage? Spiked Shield? We need to start getting some more attack because we're going to start losing attack soon. Hmm. Know that if I poison three times, it's okay, I guess. I don't really need negative clarity, right? For any reason? Can't think of a reason that I need negative clarity? Let me roll it once. Soul kit. Glad I rerolled. We'll take the bear trap. Take the healing there and the careful maneuver. So we have we have reveal all cards, right? Okay, so we have big bomb over here. Okay, we want to move towards this guy over there. I'm just going to go ahead and heal, because it'll also pass a turn. And then I'm going to kill this guy, because I want the extra souls. And... Extra attack. Extra defense, and a purple item. Neither of these are Sulkin. But that's range the creatures won't attack you. Which is really good. There's a big heal over there, so I'm just going to do that. Take the risk, take the big heal. And leave. Is it always guaranteed to be a major floor after each challenge floor? So I could have known that I was coming to a core floor after this. Something to keep in mind. Nullify range attacks. Heal five. Fantastic. I don't think I can kill this guy, so we're going to trap him. And deal five damage to a target. For double souls. We're going to re-roll. That's perfect. I just wanted this in the exit. <laughs> Thank you. I'm not faster, right? He's faster than me by one. We get five for leaving. Beautiful. 23. We can't afford any of these, which is unfortunate because that's Solkin. Man, it is literally plus three damage per, per item in my inventory at this point. Okay, this guy's going to turn in a second. And he's dead. We don't get the extra souls for that, though. A little unfortunate. I'm in range, but he won't attack me, right? I think I crit. Tempt it? Yeah. Uh, let's go for more attack. I know we don't need it by a lot, but I want more just in case. None of these are Sulkin, so we're going to try and roll again. Sulkin. Swap front hard positions. Roll one more time for Sulkin. Nope. Shuffle dungeon. That's dangerous. Hand of dog. Hand of dog is very funny. Uh, what's our options? Eh, no. We're going to go ahead and take Crossroads. Ambush or Volatile? Ambush. So wait, curse damage. 
So this guy only has 9 HP. And he's taking 12 curse damage. So the curse damage doesn't kill him? Am I misunderstanding how curse damage works? Huh. I guess curse damage can't kill, right? Because curse damage can't kill me either. That's why they were still taking... They still had one HP left. And the curse damage goes off first, so it doesn't kill him with my remaining 12. Hmm. I think I understand. We're going to reroll once. This would give me more curse damage. So this really helps the most of large creatures. Creatures with a lot of HP. Okay, okay, I think I understand. How much is this guy worth? Five. I'll take ten souls. I'm gonna do this just because I want the extra souls. Did it not give me the extra souls? I'm going to use this healing potion anyways. And we'll do this. I think I want the speed. And then... Attack. To make up for the speed that I just lost. And we'll take an item. Beautiful. Reduce the toss of rerolls by one for every negative two points. I don't care too much about that, although we are getting the benefit from that. I care more about the fact that that's even more curse damage. And then our fairy heals us. Yeah, so this will reduce the stride down to one HP. Ah, oh, man, do what we need at this point. We need one petrify. Uh, that's unfortunate. I could have just paid more attention and realized that there was a thing over there because I, I literally have them all revealed at this point. I kind of want to fix my defense a little bit. How much this HP is this? So that brings me up to 16. I'm fine with 16 HP. Shrine of the Glut. Minus 15 damage to front cards. Sure. Or, sorry, defense. Sneak past that guy. We have so much negative clarity that these curse ones are, like, almost guaranteed. Be curse. I mean, actually, it's only... It's only 58%. So it's not even close to being guaranteed. Feels like it, though. We're going to take the purple item here. Ooh... <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, yeah, that's seven times three curse damage. Trying to glut is new and fun, but I I'm kind of doing a thing right now, and I I, I kind of kind of just want to see how far I can take this whole thing going. Uh, I think we're gonna freeze this. And then give it a second, because if I get this... Beautiful. Man, that was like... That was like perfect, almost. There's just a bunch of enemies on this floor. I could kill a bunch of these things and get back there, but I'm just going to take a bunch of damage for doing it. Al warned me about here. Dare to question Al's investment. Why so helpful? Keen assessment. Oh, transform you. 
into a cute little frog. I'm gonna walk away from you for a second and get this. Amplify range attacks, drain creatures' defense. No and no. 10% chance. And you can pass blockers. Neat, but no. And a dog. Funny item. Uh, sure. I think I have to freeze here. So I can get past. And then we'll open a chest. Fractal. Actually gives me basically a ton of stats at this point. What's his speed? 20? So even if we break him, break him open, we would just take damage afterwards. So we leave. I might need some HP or defense. There's plus four defense. I don't take plus four HP over it, though. Shouldn't have passed the turn there. That was a bad move. Uh, I can do a funny thing here. He's just trying to run away from me, isn't he? He is. Okay. So why don't we... Create two Cursed Potions in front cards. Destroy and equipped item, gain its primary. Let's see what we can get here. Here yourself for the amount of petrify applied to targets. We need like one petrify. One point of petrify. Scroungers hunt you instead of fleeing. This would be useful right now in this one situation, but I don't know beyond that. Failing sneak gives some stuff. Fire beats and poison beats do not move towards, towards you. Yeah, we'll take that for now. This still kills us. There we go. That's what I wanted. I just wanted him to, like, move up to us. You know what I mean? The speed is actually kind of a big deal. Our build. Burial Ground's nice. Let's just stick with all of that. 17, not enough to take anything, so we'll just move on. Kind of dog would be really funny right now. So, what do we have? We have an amalgam back there. That's a problem. We have an upgrade. If we move, so one, two. This guy is going to hit us. So, the best move might be to just do this. We can freeze both of them and kill them. Bring that guy to 1 HP. Freeze these guys. Kill him. That amalgam's getting really big in the background there. Attacks always critical hit on frozen creatures. Would be pretty good. But I like the fact that ranged creatures don't attack. Don't want either of those. Don't want either of those. And it's trying again on Frostbite. I'm re-rolling way too much. Targeted spells inflict sits petrify. It's not targeted though. That really sucks. Okay. 
three turns. And what we would what else would we get from the floor? There's a treasure there. This guy's 72 HP. And he does yeah, I actually don't think we can kill him. We have to leave. I'm gonna take the plus two HP. Uh, let's wait on that. He's not spiky yet. The curse damage is like keeping them alive sometimes. I don't understand how that works. That guy's gonna get away. Not much I can do about that at this point. Shrine of Neglect. Yeah. Because, like... Well, no. He would have survived. Okay. I'm only doing 11 damage to him. Guaranteed crits on ensnared creatures. I don't really have a way of ensnaring reliably. I would love to kill those two guys. Is this a plus up and down? This is a plus three. No. Minus one. Okay. So if we hit this guy. I think I'm going to take the reprieve. I don't think I kill him. I was trying to do the math in my head. I'm having doubts. Shadows so discord between us. Staying strong, it won't demean us. I mean, I could kill him right now, but... No, I probably can't kill him right now, actually. Just looking at the math there. Rotate the defense, maybe? Yeah. Someone's making bombs over here. Evolve all creatures in this dungeon. That's a pretty good one. In fact, I might use that right now. Yeah, it's not keeping them alive. I just wasn't one-shotting them. Save that for now. Beautiful little legendary here for here in a second. We'll take this first. Get some defense. Kill that guy. Get the legendary. Okay, Ascension. Plus one on attack per four health. Ooh. That might be it. That might be what we needed. Okay, so now we just need a lot more of, of, of um, this set. What is this set called? Soulkin. Because if we can get more Soulkin, it becomes insta-kills now. Come on, give me some Sulkin. That's not perfect. Plus four damage to frozen creatures is technically better because it's always going to happen after I use a spell. Ah. Didn't happen. We tried. We tried, guys. We tried. I'm gonna take crossroads here. Last one. Last option. Aggression, Fountain of Life. Well, we obviously don't need the healing. Let's try for aggression. Kills him because of Petrify. Kills him because of the Petrify. 
Why does he not die? Why do I take damage? So that's 24, 30. I didn't take damage. It was telling me that I was taking damage then. That's literally amazing. Can we even kill that guy? I think so. We are going to wait. Destroy an equipped item. Gain its cost. Do we have anything that's not Soulkin that we can get rid of? I mean, we don't care about the dodge, so... The dodge is nice, don't get me wrong. I'm at 19%. Hey. Soulkin. Soulkin. Okay, Soulkin, Soulkin, Soulkin. Soul Cannon. That, I already have a Soulkin book. We need a new Soulkin item. <sighs> ah, that's really good though. Um... Holy crap, that is... Why is that giving me 27? Oh, because this is minus 4. Okay. Soul Ken! In 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 attacks inflict a random status effect. I think I like that better than reveal all cards. Can one of those status effects be the explosive, though? Transform creatures, change into strangers. I can't believe I'm going to say no to a legendary item, but I really, really, really wanted the soul chain effect. Dang. Okay. I don't know if we can do this. Fortunately, these these little pillar thingies kind of let us take past turns. Uh, we have a 0% chance of getting it. I mean, easy, easy decision right there. Okay, he's going to go back in next turn. Great curse potions. Fine with that. kind of potions are these? They're good ones? Uh, is that a good potion? can't remember. It is also a good potion. How much damage does this do? Not enough to kill me. Attempt to heal. I think that was a 0% chance. I don't know why I tried that. Okay. We're going to hit the candles. And then we are going to patiently wait our hand is not on the mouse. We are patiently waiting for the choice to come up. Douse the flame, let shadow reign. After all, you choose defiance. Why would you choose to break our alliance? Betrayal's toss is far from free. Show yourself. Show yourself. Now you'll see me. Okay. Please don't try and move towards me. We can handle that. We're gonna grab another legendary. Soulkin. Neither of those are Soulkin. We roll once. Transform on parry. It's something, right? We don't have enough to re-roll again. He can't be frozen. 
How much damage does he do? 50 damage? I don't... I don't know if this is possible for me to kill him. I'll make those there just so I can... I mean, I can't just run away forever, right? If I pass him, he's gonna hit me if I... Yeah, just kill him. Eventually, this fails. Well, he summoned a bunch more creatures, but that doesn't really help me. Uh, how do we kill him? So he has 50 attack, 20 speed. So he's faster than us, one shots us, and is immune to freeze. And we did tons of damage with this build. Like I literally one shot everything else that we run into. My only thought is we could do damage to him by killing bombs. That's like actually a real thing that's happening here. I need to kill one of these bombs so that it doesn't blow up on me. I need to heal first. So we can do this. Oh, he's pissed now. He's really pissed now. Sorry for being so quiet. I am just like in utter shock that we're actually surviving here. What is that? I've never seen one of those before. Hatchling. Is he throwing his kids at me now? Scream attack. Okay. 
Okay, so here's the thing, though. We understand how to fight him now. Honestly, like... We just need to get to him with a build strong enough to fight in that area. Oh my gosh, this is just, like, so much knowledge I have now after this. I am so glad no one told me about that. Like, people could have spoiled... This game is years old. People could have spoiled that at any time that the bombs stun him. Someone tried to spoil that at any time, but finding that out for myself was so cool. That was such a cool experience. Well, this has been Reign of Pain. I've been Arima. This was a really fun episode for me. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. If you did, feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you have a good day. Goodbye.